what's going on guys your boy terry by reacts here back with another peaky blinders reaction season one episode six this is the season finale actually and this has been great this has been awesome the season has been great and i have to say man this show was really well it's really well written and my prediction has come true i predicted probably like, like episode two or so that I think Grace is going to end up with Tommy, and that's exactly what happened in episode five. Um, because of just their chemistry on screen is so great. I don't know why in the inspector, I still don't understand the relationship between the inspector, the inspector and Grace. I I don't get it. I don't know why he felt like she loved him or wanted to marry him, or she was gonna say yes. To him asking her to marry him, but somehow he got that into his head. But you know, you know, I thought it would um, episode five would be a good way to end season one, but it ended up. You already know that we gotta have the revenge episode, right? Of Inspector, you know, seeing them kissing and all of this other stuff. You know, that pisses him off because you know he he was like, hey, we got the guns back, but I have one other thing I need to take care of. Ooh, guess what that is? Um, Freddie is in jail. You know, Ada not talking to anybody. She's not accepting anything from anybody, really. But we're going to see what happens. Um, this has been great, man. This has been an awesome, awesome ride so far. This is one of them series that you really do have to pay attention to what's going on, else you'll miss something. Um, the whole thing with, with their dad was a life lesson for Arthur, of course, um, for him to understand. He he's the weaker of the three brothers. In my in, in in my opinion, I think he's the weakest out of the three brothers. Um so because he just he you know he's the eldest and he's the weakest. You know what I'm saying? Like I mean, I saw a dude coming from a mile away and he didn't see it. I'm like, dude, this is a scam artist. This dude is a scammer. You just be weary of these dudes that's coming coming back in he just comes back into your life and not even a day passes he wants money and you don't see that as a red flag? Come on, man. You know? So we're gonna jump into this episode, man. Link down in the description. Make sure you hit that like button on this video, man, and hit uh, and leave a comment on this video, okay? Um See you for the review. I'm I'm not gonna separate them anymore. Okay, so make sure you look out for that. I'm not gonna separate the, the intro from the review anymore. I'm just gonna leave it in one video. So all you have to do is once once the the intro is over, go watch the episode and come back, continue this video and finish what and the review is gonna be right after this. Okay, so Go and check the episode out now. See you guys for the reaction. Make sure to come back and watch the review. All right. See boy Terry by reacts and peace. All right. So I just finished watching the episode, guys, and I have to say it was a good wrap up. Good, great season finale. They took out Tommy. Took out. Billy Kimber, um, getting over the, the stuff that was instrumental in the episode in, in, but in a minor way, you get what I'm saying? Like the biggest storyline to this entire season finale was the relationship between Tommy and Grace. Like that's what I cared about the most. You get what I'm saying? Because we've been seeing this relationship happen. You know what I'm saying? Like from the first or second episode of the season. So it's like, um, and I'm talk. I was talking about how, you know, he finally found some peace. He's, you know, the first time he actually got slept through the whole night was with her. Obviously they both was in love with each other. And I was rooting for the relationship because, you know, it's good when you're in that kind of situation to have a relationship like that is very good because it's always somebody you can lean on outside of the, 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 um, outside of the, the grotesque things that you have to deal with on a daily basis. You know, him being the leader of a 
quote unquote gang, right? So it was crazy to, to, to see that how it ended up. They ended up finding out. Um, Inspector Walker set it up that told Billy Kimber about the plan. I don't know how the hell he found out about a plan. Maybe I missed something. But he told them and told uh, uh, um, that he planned, oh, we're going to, you know, I don't remember if Tommy told him. I don't think so. So I don't know how he found out about the plan. Um, but Billy Kimber shot him. I think he shot um, the other dude, too. Um, killed him. Um, so those were, to me, minor things in the episode. Like, And then at the end... I mean, Danny Whizbang, that's the guy I'm trying to remember. Danny Whizbang is the guy that was going crazy and he had to either be killed. Um, um, Tommy fake killed him and he ended up in, um, what do you call it? He ended up over by, um, what do you call it again? He ended up over by um, London. He ended up in London because he could risk finding out that he was still alive because he had to kill him because he killed um, somebody from the, um, from the Italians. And he came back. Not Billy Kimber is dead. Got shot in the head because he, um, Tommy killed him. Um, so I don't know what, what happened with Billy Kimber. Man, they just cleared out because um, the Lees took the track and everything. Um, so they're out of business they don't have their fearsome leader anymore so that's out of the picture um didn't exactly i wasn't exactly thrilled about what ada was doing she put her baby and herself in that situation which is it was kind of dumb i mean knowing the type of person that billy kimber is he could have shot that baby and didn't give a shit you get what i'm saying you know what i mean because he's still even though the baby and Ava. Uh, and Ada was present, he still shot somebody. You know what I'm saying? At first, I thought it was John that got shot. From the way, I, I thought it was John that got shot, but it just so happens that it was it was Tommy and, and Danny that got shot. So, because I was confused, because I knew I saw somebody else got shot, but it was like, and then I just said, oh, it's just Danny, but then, the, the scene came after that where they was taking the bullet out of Tommy. So I was like, okay, I know I was, I know I wasn't seeing things wrong. I know somebody else got shot. So, I mean, but this episode, man, the relationship between Grace and Tommy, man, I was really rooting for that relationship. And now it seems like Inspector Walker took her out. Um, at least that's how they made it seem. Like, I don't know if he killed her. I don't think he did. I'm hoping, I mean, I should say I'm hoping he didn't. I'm hoping he didn't take her out because that would be so wrong on so many levels at this point. I mean, I guess they're setting it up for, for Tommy to find out that he did it. And you know what I'm saying? Because he's planning to say, okay, I'll send you my decision in three days. You know, it's just that, he has so much responsibilities right now. He got a family pr to protect so many people that looks up to him. He can't just up and leave like that. You get what I'm saying? Um, in my opinion, he should forgive her because throughout the whole thing, he never, she never wanted him hurt. So I think he should forgive her, let her come home, marry her if you need to. For her to be accepted and for, for Aunt Polly to have no choice but to accept her. That's the only thing. Like, he would have to worry about Aunt Polly. But at the same time, I think if he marries her, she won't have no choice but to honor that. Because she was defending Freddie. So he could throw that in her face all day and be like, you were defending Freddie this whole damn time. You know that dude's a communist and all of this other stuff. But because... um. It's Ada. You wasn't object. You you was objecting to it at first, but then when it was like, oh, the baby's in the picture now. You know what I'm saying? Like, even you you were always trying to protect them. So now I want you to to protect us, just the same because now we're family. You don't have a choice. So that's the only thing I think would protect her against Aunt Polly not trying to do anything with her. I don't know. 
you know. And that's funny too. I don't know how to how the hell did he know she was at the station too? Like there's so many plot holes here, but it's to you know, that's how season finales are, especially when you get renewed for the new season. You got to set it up in a way where you know, people are wondering what's going to happen in season 2. So good I don't have to wait a whole year or half a year to see what's going to happen. So Next episode of Peaky Blinder is on Wednesday, so make sure you look out for that. Um, yeah. So, yeah, man, that's my review of this episode, man. It was pretty cool to see how they wrapped up the season. They did a really good job of keeping you on the edge of your seat in that last episode. Now, um, as I said, next episode is on Wednesday. I'm trying to get to doing two episodes per week of this of um of Peaky Blinders. If you guys don't know, I cannot upload any of this stuff on YouTube, and you guys have been tremendous in supporting this stuff off of YouTube, and I really appreciate it. You guys really watch the intros, watch the reviews on YouTube, so that those views stay up. So whoever I know it's not it's not a a ton of y'all watching these, but I'm still doing them because I'm enjoying the show. So why not? You know so. There's other stuff that I'm dealing with, as in I have no reactions to put up on YouTube now. It's not even the only thing I that I'm doing right now is really Game of Thrones reactions and um, the Ippo reactions I can't do anymore because season three is heavily um, copyrighted, might get blocked. So I'm not even going to attempt to put it on YouTube. Um, at least that's what my subscribers have been telling me. So I'm going to listen to them. So Ippo reaction is going to be on the Google Drive now, just like Peaky Blinders. So, thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for tuning in all the time. I, I, I love the support on these. Just make sure you remember to leave a like and a comment on this video. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. There's more to come. I'm planning to add. I just put out a community tab um, question for you guys. If, the, if you guys have any TV series or... Or anime that you would want me to react to that I won't have any problems with YouTube with like YouTube just makes you upload that stuff and you don't and there's no claims if there's claims there's it's fine but if you know the video is going to get blocked please don't suggest it stuff that I don't won't have a problem with that's what I'm asking for so thank you guys for listening once again it's your boy Terabyte reacts and as always man it's peace